The Equal Justice Initiative is a private nonprofit organization I direct in Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, it grew out of a critical need in the Deep South to provide legal representation to uh, death row prisoners. And we focus a lot on questions of uh, fairness for racial minorities, for poor people, for vulnerable groups in our society. Uh, most folks don't know that uh, there is no right to counsel in this country after your case is uh, tried and appealed to, to the initial court. Uh, we have a review system that has been uh, crucial in preventing wrongful convictions, uh, but you can only access that system if you have a lawyer, and most poor people on death row can't afford one. And so um, I teach a clinic where we prepare our students to do work on death penalty cases, and then we go to Alabama, and we spend two months investigating cases, interviewing clients, working with witnesses, preparing petitions uh, that we then file in the hope that we can overturn a wrongful conviction or sentence. Our students have to be prepared to not only uh, come up with good evidence and good arguments, but they've got to kind of overcome this institutional uh, reluctance to actually address the problems of wrongful conviction, uh, unfair sentences, bias, discrimination, all those things that are inherent in these cases. You cannot become the kind of advocate that I think a lot of our students come to, to NYU uh, to, to, to be unless you have some exposure to real problems. And uh, I'm very interested in, in, in getting students to think about working in underserved communities uh, where there is uh, an absolute crisis uh, surrounding how we meet the needs of uh, people uh, who have been incarcerated. So they go down to death row and they meet people who have been condemned. Uh, they go into uh, households or families where people uh, are really struggling and suffering and uh, are trying to manage generations of poverty and dysfunction. And when they encounter that uh, in an up-close and personal way, I think it not only changes the way they think about these legal issues and legal problems, but I think it changes the way they feel about their own uh, needs, their own resources, their own gifts and abilities. And I think you quickly learn that uh, even though you don't think you know everything, uh, you have something that you can give that'll make a difference in the lives of people. And to me, that's the most uh, remarkable and exciting thing about uh, the clinic. When we take students to Alabama, I see them become uh, not just lawyers and advocates, uh, but people who are engaged with their own vision, uh, who are engaged with their own passion, uh, who have a sense that they can change the world and they can act on that sense in a meaningful and direct way. And for me, that's, that's really wonderful to see. I think it can be really empowering to position yourself someplace uh, where there's a lot of hopelessness and actually be a witness for something hopeful and actually say, we're going to try to do something. You know, I tell my students all the time that in law school, you get a lot of information, you get a lot of ideas, you think a lot about strategies, you think a lot about doctrine, and those ideas in your mind are important, but you really can't create justice. You really can't do the hard problem solving with just ideas in your mind alone. I think you've also got to have some conviction in your heart, uh, because that hard thing will get you to do things that you don't think are possible.